What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to talk about how to install an SSL certificate on your WordPress website. Now this is really not that difficult, but it is so, so important that you have an SSL certificate. The reason for that is one, it protects your customer's information, but two, if you don't have an SSL certificate, it'll actually penalize you and Google will not put your website up higher on search results. Google, because they're such an authority, they absolutely have to make sure that the results that they're providing to people are safe and secure and come from secure sources. So even though your website may not be malicious intentionally, if you don't have an SSL certificate, they'll actually take your site and either remove it, like they won't rank it on Google at all, or they'll push it lower in the results so people aren't gonna find you. Okay, so coming over to my screen, you can see just a sample WordPress website that I've set up for this video. And you can see here, I'm using Chrome, it'll be the same if you have Firefox or Internet Explorer. If you're using Internet Explorer, stop it now. Um, but any, any browser that you use, you can see here in the upper left-hand corner next to the address, you can see that it says not secure. You can click on this too, and it says your connection to this site is not secure. The reason for that is because you don't have an SSL certificate. Okay, so let's, let's talk about SSL certificates really quick. I'm not gonna go into too much detail what they are, why you need them, we've already done that. Um, but the, the landscape for SSL certificates has kind of changed. In the past, you used to have to pay for an SSL certificate. And it wasn't a ton of money, but it was about $60 a year. So, you know, it's, it's nice that now the landscape has changed. You don't have to pay for SSL certificates anymore. There's a new service out there. It's called Let's Encrypt that is has a goal of making sure that the internet is more secure. So now they offer free SSL certificates. Now, the nice thing too is that Let's Encrypt has now integrated with cPanel, which makes it a lot easier for people to install an SSL certificate if they don't have one already. Now, I use A2 Hosting for my web host. I personally think they're the best web hosting company out there. A link is down in the description below if you don't like the, your current company or you want to switch. Um, but another reason that I love A2 Hosting is they have free SSL certificates. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my cPanel. And if you'll notice here, I want to I want to take note of this IP address over here under shared IP address. Now that IP address that you see, that is the IP address of my server. That's where my website lives. Now, in order for me to have a successful um, a successful install of an SSL certificate, you need to make sure that your website is pointed to your server, which in this case it is, but we'll, we'll go and we'll check how that's done. So take note of this IP address, and then we're gonna go to a website, it's called dnschecker.org. And from here, you can type in and you can say Bryce Demo, SHWIP. And if I hit enter, you can see that for the most part, all of the DNS servers around the world are pointing to that same IP address. If you're not sure what DNS is or how that works, I'll link a video right up here that you can check out that kind of explains it all. Um, but but that's good. So our domain name is pointed to our server. If, if you're not pointed to the server, you're not gonna be able to qualify and get an SSL certificate. It'll say, hey, there's an error with this. So once I've logged into my cPanel, the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for SSL and then you're gonna have these three, uh, three options that come up. I'm gonna click on SSL TLS status and click on that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do though is now I'm gonna click on run auto SSL. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go out, it's gonna check and verify that I own the domain. It's gonna say, look, this domain is pointed to this server and there's a clear channel of communication between these two. And once it's done, if it, if it does validate and come back as true, it's going to show this green padlock here and it's gonna say auto SSL domain validated. So that means that you have your SSL certificate installed. And again, that's why I love a to hosting so much, link in the description, because they have this capability automatically baked in. There's a lot of other web hosts out there that probably do have this feature, um, but I know for a fact that A2 Hosting does provide this. So now that I've got the green padlock, I know that my SSL certificate is installed, but if I come back to my website here and I refresh, there's an issue because it still says not secured. Now, why is that? So what happens is I can do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and hit enter. So that means that when I hit the HTTP, the non-protected version of this website, my SSL certificate does not show. Now, if I come here and go HTTPS, 
this is my protected version of the site and hit enter, you'll notice that I now have this padlock right here showing that my website is secure. Now the problem though is if somebody doesn't specify HTTP or HTTPS, a user could actually get redirected to the non-secure version of my website, which I don't want. So there's a way to fix that. There's a way to automatically redirect all of your users to the secure version of the website. And if they hit the non-secure non -ver non version, they're automatically going to be redirected to the secure version. It's, it's not that difficult, I promise you, um, but we need to make a change to something called the HT access file. Now down in the description below, I'll link a copy of that file that you can copy and paste. I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but you can copy and paste that and that'll automatically convert all of your website users to the protected version. Okay, so what you're seeing right now, again, is the HT access file. Link will be down in the description. You don't have to understand what this does or what it is doing, but basically all it is, is just converting your insecure website to the secure version of your website. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna highlight this whole thing and we're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna come back to our cPanel and we're gonna go to our file manager. Once we are in the file manager, we're gonna go to public HTML and click on that. And then once we're in this main directory, we can edit the HT access file. The problem though is it's a hidden file. And so what you have to do is you have to go up to settings and you have to click on show hidden files and then say save. Now what we can do here is we see we have an HT access file. You notice how there's a period in front of it? What that period means is that it's a hidden file. So we've, we've selected to show hidden files. Anything with a period in front of it will be hidden. Now what we can do is we can right click and we can go edit and then say edit. Now I'm gonna highlight all of this and if you want, you can back this up just in case. I don't think it's that big a deal. I'm just gonna overwrite it. I'm gonna paste in the file that I copied earlier and I'm going to say save changes and close. Okay, so now what should happen is if I come here and type HTTP and hit enter, my website, as you notice, is automatically redirected to the secure version where I have the padlock. And you can click on this padlock here and it says, great, your connection is secure. So that is a super simple, easy way to make sure that your website is secure and you have an SSL certificate. Again, if someone's trying to charge you to install an SSL certificate, tell them to take a hike. It's free with A2 hosting. Again, there's probably other hosts out there that now offer this, um, but it should be in your cPanel. If you have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the description below. Until next week, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.